What is going on, everyone, and welcome back to another edition of Quest of Cosmic, where I do, where I play rank games on the PlayStation Network, and it's uh, eh, I'm not doing that much, I guess. I, I mean, I played last night. I did about thirty games, uh, thirty ranked games, and I did probably like twenty, well, like. 15 between 15 and 20 other more friendlies with uh, a first to 10 with another with somebody that's on my friends list uh, and then I did a couple of more friendly games uh, just random friendlies on, on on PlayStation Network I basically played until my hands started hurting and you know when you're a Morgan player and when you're doing like tons of input tons of fireball and, and fly and unfly motions uh, you can only play for so long before your hand starts hurting. It's not like it's it, you can't just you know it's not like where you play with like with, like with Wesker where it's just you know like A B C launch, A B C assist launch, A B C uh, O T G into into hyper. It, 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 he Wesker maybe has like one command uh, per combo, but Morgan has like. You know, more sometimes I could have like up to ten commands in one single combo, so it's tough on your fingers. Uh, my left hand, especially the one that does the analog or the the D-pad motions. So yeah, I can only play for so long at a time. But I, had, I, I don't know. I, it was kind of rough. I think I basically spent the entire night winning two and then losing one so you know win two lose one win two lose one win two lose one um i did go on two six game win streaks but then i got like a three and a four game losing streak so i mean i guess that's okay it's not you know the worst i've done but it's certainly not the best but uh but yeah that's that's what i did yesterday um let's see Lately, I've just been uploading Tomb Raider. I, I believe I uploaded one earlier today. Uh, and I'm still rendering, you know, the... I, I, I have the next, I'd say, six episodes. And I'm still rendering all the episodes after that. I think I have, like, maybe ten more to go before uh, all of them. Every episode will have been rendered. So, that's what I'm doing for now. Just rendering uh, Tomb Raider episodes. I did get Bioshock Infinite. I have it right now. I am looking at it, and it is just teasing me. <laughs> I so want to play it, but I have to finish rendering those Tomb Raider videos. And I also wanted to do one other. Uh, I also wanted to record one other video. It's not. Uh, it's not Tomb Raider. It's not Tomb Raider related, and it's not Marvel related either. So. Just a couple of things before I get started. I'll probably get started within the week. But uh, but yeah, I did uh, I did. I, this this will have been only the second time that I've used my blue snowball since I've gotten it. I got it like maybe a week ago. The first video, of course, being the combo breakdown uh, video. I used it there. So I'm still trying to break it in. I'm still trying to find the right settings for Audacity. I've been you know, checking out other tutorials and seeing what they do. And but yeah, I'm still working on that. I was able to build a mic stand for it um, out of PVC pipe. It's pretty nice. I like it. The mic stand that is. It's uh, you know PVC isn't the sturdiest material, I guess, but. I mean, it, it can keep its balance, which is really important. It could, um, and it's really light. That's that's one of the good things about PVC is that it's so light, and I can move it around. I can, you know, take it from TV to TV if I wanted to. I can. It's not. It's not all that heavy. But yeah, I'm trying to. I'm using it at this moment, so I'm still trying to break it in. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I do need to lengthen one of the arms a little bit because it's a little short. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much what's been going on lately, and we might as well go ahead and get into some of these some of these games. Um, I I want I think this is one of the Mad players, Mad Mad Big Pun. I want to say it is, but I've never heard of him. And if any of the Mad players are watching this, let me know if this is a new teammate or maybe just an old teammate that I've haven't played yet. 
But uh, I remember this game so vividly because I get smoked. <laughs> and I don't know what Chris is supposed to do in this case. I've tried everything. Uh, let's see. I've tried coming down with attacks. And none of them have worked. I've tried neutral teching and that didn't work. He still gets caught. I've tried... Uh, I, maybe I should try coming down with a regular gunshot because it does have the right angle. Um, I just don't know if it's fast enough. And I feel like if I call an assist, I'm just going to get happy birthday because he's always calling... He's always backing up his moves with uh, Taskmaster Arrow. So it's I, I'm going to have to come up with something because I can't just get blown up like this every time I go against a Hagar. Every time I get stuck in the corner against a Hagar, I mean... But I mean, if I could just get out of it with Chris, I can, you know, toss out uh, toss out a grenade, and I, I just go into zone mode and just keep him out like that, and and I can chip him out for days uh, if I just get that first grenade out. But yeah, you you can see what happens if you if you get uh if you get rushed down uh with Chris. I I, I know a lot of players have trouble against rushed down players, uh like you know Wolverine and. Uh, Hagar, I would consider Hagar a rushdown character. He's probably one of the better ones. But uh, but yeah, going into the next game, we got uh, you got Zero May Cry, and I don't know if you've ever, you heard of that one player. Um, I'm trying to remember his name. I I can't remember it. He basically criticized the entire West Coast for not picking a team like Zero May Cry, uh, picking like the most top tier team characters. To give yourself the best chance at winning, and I don't know. That's going with top tier characters just to win. It just seems like a kind of like a sellout, I guess. It's I don't know. I I don't think you should play with who you like. I first and foremost. I mean, I've always picked. Uh, I've always liked Chris. I played Resident Evil. Um, I love. I I just love his his playstyle is so different from from any other character in the game. Same thing with Morgan. There's no character like Morgan, not even close. Uh, but I mean, I've always liked Morgan. Um, although I I kind of didn't like her in Marvel too. I I don't I don't know what it was. It's just the way she played. I just didn't like it. Um, I guess because I liked uh, I liked Cammy more in Marvel 2, and I liked uh, Psylocke as well. Psylocke was a really cool character. But yeah, uh, man, if there is ever one nerf that Virgil deserves, and I believe this 100%, Virgil should not be able to cancel his S into H and his H into S like that. It's... 100% he should not be able to do that. I mean every other character in the game can't do that. It's 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 a, you're supposed to give an attack that is punishable. Um but I mean you can't do it against Virgil cuz he, he can just infinitely loop that <laughs> loop that attack like non-stop and I don't know. There, there, he's there, he's never going to get nerfed. I there's never going to be any patches. But if there were, that should definitely be one of the nerfs. Yeah, just one. There, he, uh, he, there should be other nerfs. That should be one of them. But uh, yeah, going into this next game, we got a uh, Hawkeye on point, Wesker on anchor, and Doom in second. And he, he's yeah, going into zoning. He's calling Doom hidden missiles. Probably one of the best zoning assists in the game. But... Chris is probably one of the best anti-zoning zoners, uh, just because of prone. I mean, prone puts you so low to the ground, and you can't, it, you just can't get any projectiles off of him when he's like that. Uh, there's very few players in the game that have uh, full-screen projectiles that can hit Chris when he's that low to the ground. M maybe Ami can um, with Cold Star. Um, Dormammu can with his pillar. Uh, that light pillar. I don't know. I don't know his names. His attack names. Uh, Doom's ground finger lasers, and I guess his air finger lasers can too. Uh, but you, I mean, it's so easy to to just cancel prone just by you know jumping in the air. And once you're in the air, you can immediately block any air projectile. Is way too slow, and you can't really you can't really punish prone with an air projectile. 
Um, so yeah, I mean, his his Doom is... He's sticking with his uh, zoning guns, and he's just, you know, super jumping in the air and going into finger lasers. And it's really hard for Chris to do anything about it, just because you have to be directly underneath him to, in order to super jump and even have a chance at reaching him with a grab. And other than that, that's his only option. So he kind of just has to eat those projectiles, those finger lasers. And, of course, he got the angle, went into... Uh, Went into a foot dive and yep, there it goes. There it goes again. They, dudes just cannot resist going into that foot dive when they have that that perfect angle, that angle where there is ambiguous. Like, is it gonna cross up? Is it not gonna cross up? 50-50 foot dive. And if they land it, hard knockdown. If they don't land it, opponent's probably not gonna not gonna do anything about it. But. Yeah, he ends up losing his Doom because of it. I just go into a really easy uh, a DHC punish with Magneto, and that's it for uh, Wesker. He, he ended up getting the hit, but he accidentally went to a gunshot for some reason. He probably could have uh, Team Hyper Combo canceled that gunshot and probably would have killed Morgan. That His level 1 does so much damage in X-Factor level 3. I It's ridiculous. Like I, I didn't think... A hyper could do that much damage, even after like a you know a full combo, but it it does a lot. But yeah, going to the next game, we got the Taskmaster on points and Nemesis in the second slot and X23 on anchor. And X23 on anchor is scary because X23 is really similar to Virgil, I think, where if you only have two characters on your team and she lands a hit on one of them, you're probably gonna lose because. She can X Factor, you know, gain a ton of meter, kill the character with maybe a bar, um, and then go into Dirt Nap. And Dirt Nap is like an instant kill because she can confirm off of it into a, a level one, and by then it's it's over. Like she she can do some pretty nasty things with Dirt Nap, and it's unblockable too. With Virgil, he has like 50/50 mix up, so. And his his option is to throw as many 50-50 mix-ups at you as possible, hoping that one of them will land. But with X-23, those are unblockable. You can't do anything about it unless you have an invincible air hyper, which I do have with Morgan, but it does cost three bars. So he ended up... Uh, his Taskmaster took some nasty damage i don't know what i did to to do that must to do so much damage because i i don't think i've used a bar yet uh he ends up bringing a nemesis and nemesis uh finishes off chris but his nemesis is gonna you know bite the dust right now caught pushing but oh nice cross under uh, okay i'm not gonna get it though no yeah you have to ease the opponent to the ground during the combo during the beginning portions of the combo and if you don't it, the character is just going to be floating too high which is exactly what happened with taskmaster and you know i i didn't get the combo but i mean it's no big deal he, he's too low to do anything he did he doesn't want to to uh bring in x23 quite just yet because i guess he wants to use uh, x factor and dirt nap with her but it doesn't look like he's gonna get that chance i'm not sure what happened he got a little scared because of that uh, overhead, and I ended up going into a triangle jump, clipped his feet, and ended up getting uh, the kill on X23. Yeah, that's the only that's the only thing like that's the he had to have been like scared because he sh probably should have just went with X Factor and just went nuts. That's that's because X23 is one of those types of characters where you can do that with and still have a good chance at, at uh, getting touches. But yeah, we got uh, another game here, and we got uh, oh, zero, it was zero on point. Wesker, yeah, Wesker in the second slot, and then uh, Akuma on anchor. And this is like one of those teams where even if I snap back someone, there's still always going to be an annoying anchor character to go against. Like, but. I mean, obviously, I guess, well, not obviously, I don't know why, but it's been, it's widely accepted that Zero is not a good X-Factor level 3 character, and I don't know why, like, what is a, what, what is it about him that makes him 
a bad X Factor level 3 character? Is it because you can't do lightning loops in X Factor? Or is it because you have to use totally different combos in X Factor? I I, I don't understand it because it seems like he's he would be a really good one. He has like self mix ups. He has he has uh self unblockables with his uh with his shadow. But yeah, I don't know what is up. But yeah, I'm gonna punish this for sure. I'm gonna go into level three. He probably should have X factor. Um, Ooh, yeah, I, I mistimed that launcher and he just punished it. And anytime you commit to a uh, super jumping gunshot, if your opponent is directly underneath you, they're going to get the hit. Always. They're always going to get that hit. But uh, Morgan's going to come in. No, I should have went into Shadow Blade. Ooh, this might actually hit though. Oh, he barely got underneath it. But his X Factor wore, wore out, so he's going to get chipped out. Yep. Yeah, he had, to, he had to blow his X-Factor really early against Chris and trying to kill three characters and you have to get the hit immediately in order to get to the third character. But that's going to be it for this set of games and uh, as always, I will catch you guys next time when I play more Marvel vs. Capcom 3. But until then, peace.